Hi, I'm John Daly. I'm an Indigenous Ranger from Fish River. I'm here to talk to you today about the history of fire and fire as a management tool for looking after our country. Up in the north here, native vegetation needs fire to regerminate. You know, quite a few trees without fire won't regerminate. So, you know, when you talk about the two different techniques of burning up here, you know, like you've got bad fires which come through which are hot, hot burns. They basically destroy all your seeds that drop from the tree. They'll basically wipe out everything in the soil, kill off all the seeds, so you're killing off future generation of plants and you know, plant life in the north here. So with cool burnings, you know, basically it comes through, cracks the seed pods, and because it's burning at a lower temperature, it cracks the seed pod in the soil there, and the seed, you know, the seed pods are ready to germinate. So basically, as soon as you have a bit of moisture on the ground there, that germinates new trees. When you get a hot burn, near waterways and things like that. The first lot of rains you come through, all the sedimentation on the soil, basically all this blackness, if it's a really hot burn, will wash into the soil, like the, the whole soil and everything will shift into the water, and basically it drops the amount of oxygen you have in the water, all the larger fish will die off and you get what they call fish kills up in the north here. So yeah, if you have cooler burning techniques, you don't burn out the countryside, you, you set up traps along the way with patchy burning, you know what I mean? And that sedimentation gets caught by the traps that you create with cooler burnings and that mosaic style of burning. So, yeah, you're basically stopping all the, the ash and stuff like that going into the river to create fish kills and things like that. Basically what we're looking at here is we're looking at fire scarring on a tree, you know, like this is the same area that I just showed you before where we come through and put a cool burn through. When you've got a really nice cool burn come through, it looks after the barks on the tree, keeps the moisture in, inside the tree and keeps the tree alive. If you've got a hot burn, it'll basically burn the bark right through to the butt and like you know, basically once the bark's peeled off the tree, the tree's got no moisture and no protection from the outside. So you can see the fire scarring here that's come up here. The fire scarring is minimal. You know, you've got the outside that's sort of burnt away, but if you peel away the bark and things like that, you'll notice that the tree's still living, that the bark's still intact there, that the bark hasn't been burnt through to the butt where the wood is. So, you know, it's about protecting these trees and making sure that, you know, we burn right and, you know, we get good fire scarring. The, the scarring doesn't go all the way up, the, you know, to the top of the tree and burn the canopies out. 